Hey, this is Eric Larkin. Sleepless in Seattle again. Sunday, January 11, 2009. It's a new year. All right. Tonight, I experienced God. For the first time in a long while. I spent a long time trying to figure out exactly what I'm doing and who I am as a man. And tonight, I think I realized that you can spend so much time trying to figure out who you are that that starts to become who you are. It's like, it's not like everything doesn't have to focus around discovering who you are all the time. Sometimes you just get to the point where you have to be who you are. In Acts, it talks about us being witnesses. Like the Lord wants us to be his witness. That doesn't mean I need to go around and go witness. But I need to be a witness. And the only way to do that is to be filled with his spirit. Completely filled. That is available and accessible to me. Until the point where he is birthed inside of me. That's being a witness. That's who I am. That's what I've been trying to find out. I guess we all just try to find out what it looks like. But when you're God's people, you just are. It's kind of like we're in a race. And every generation has passed the baton. The baton is now in our hands. So we get to be the strength in a weak world. We get to be generosity in a world of greed, purity in a world of lust. We get to be light in the world of darkness and hope in the world of apathy. It's just interesting, though. I feel like in the middle of me trying to figure out who I was, I've discovered lots of things about myself and life and how I relate to it, but somehow in the midst, I've seemed to lose, lose rather, the understanding of how to be filled with the Spirit of God and how to even talk and pray with him. When that in itself is kind of like who I am. Not the act of doing those things, but kind of having that connection with God. I've been on a journey of discovering who I am. But it feels a little pointless without really knowing who God is. <sighs> Anyways, I'm yawning. I think in the end, this is all about figuring out who God is and who God is in me and how to have the most God inside of me. Not so much who I am and how much I can put myself in the world. I've been protecting my reputation, my skills, my abilities, and my everything. My work, my job, and my, my not so religious life. But you know what? The most important thing to me in the world is how God 
cares for me and how I care for him. Tonight, for the first time in a long time, I understood that. My heart began to break. And my eyes began to cry. And again, I feel my soul for the first time in a long time. I don't think that God has a problem with me being in Seattle. I think that God might be having a problem with me not giving him a part in my coming to Seattle. Anyways, whatever the case is, I think the journey has just changed a little today. January 11, 2009. I'm going to sleep now. Good night.